You're watching WMAR 2 News. A gas stove lit inside of a home that had been filling with natural gas for an entire day led to a deadly explosion this past summer in northwest Baltimore. Good afternoon, Maryland. I'm Christian Schaefer. This morning, the Baltimore City Mayor Brandon Scott and the city's fire chief, Niles Ford, released new information about this explosion, which happened August 10th on Labyrinth Road near the Reistertown Plaza Shopping Center. Two people were killed, seven more injured, three homes were destroyed. The fire chief now says a licensed contractor had been working on the HVAC system where of the home where the explosion happened the day before it happened. The city officials did not release the name of that contractor, but they do say there was a gas leak apparently resulting from that work that went undetected for an entire day and then August 10th, someone tried to light a gas stove in that home, causing that massive explosion. Much more on the story coming tonight, starting with WMAR 2 News at 5. Meanwhile, the number of cases, hospitalizations and deaths from the coronavirus continued their post-holiday spike today, but the number of people getting vaccinated in Maryland continues to rise as well. 67 more people have died from COVID-19 in the report released this morning by the state's health department, and the number of people hospitalized today set another new record. It is 1,952 right now that is up 12 from yesterday. There's 2,665 new cases of the coronavirus and the state's positivity rate ticked up again to 8.77%. More than 12,600 people got their first doses of one of the coronavirus vaccines. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Tuesday, everyone. We have plenty of sunshine in store for today. High pressure will keep that sunshine around throughout the later parts of the afternoon and will actually stick around overnight. So that's going to help us uh, deal with clear skies as we head into the overnight hours. Temperatures do rise above average today, back up into the mid and upper 40s. Tonight, we do bottom out a lot of us in the 20s, but areas closer to the bay will be a tad bit warmer, especially around Easton, Stevensville, even around Annapolis, only dropping down to the lower 30s tonight. But more sunshine will prevail as we head into your Wednesday with high temperatures even warmer back up into the lower 50s, bringing back a little bit more of that cloud cover as we head into your Thursday and tracking our next best chance for some rain, even some snow showers as we wrap up the work week. Okay, Stevie, thanks very much and stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app. It's in the app store or follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.